Good morning. It uh, it rained really hard last night for a while. <clears throat> Pardon me. And again this morning, it just stopped. And uh, I'm going to wait for it to clear. And there is a bit of a wind, so it'll hopefully dry things up outside a bit. And being that this tent is about 30 years old and it's been packed away for many years, I it was fine in the light rain, but that heavy rain that just happened, wow, uh, water, some water did get in here. What amazed me is this cheap Walmart uh, sleeping bag kept me dry. It is made of polyester and I mean, even my sleeping pad is wet, but I'm dry. I'm really surprised. So I'm going to wait for things to dry up. I'll get some more sleep. I couldn't sleep during that big storm last night. It was an awesome lightning storm. And it wasn't uh, hitting the ground. Uh, it was all up in the clouds. <clears throat> so I was safe. They called for... Uh, a possible storm overnight that would pass through and, and have sun in the morning. Well, it, that's not how it worked out. So I'm going to wait and see what happens here. I see it's breaking up in the distance, so I might just snooze a bit more. And then uh, hopefully I can make breakfast out here. But there's a possibility I may just pack up because it's so wet. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna attempt this breakfast. Uh, it has completely stopped raining and I briefly went outside. The clouds are starting to break, but it's very wet out there. So I'm gonna try and cook outside, but sitting in the tent. Uh, I don't wanna light this stove in the tent. That's just too risky. You know, everything's flammable in here. And uh, there's a breeze, so I'm hoping that things dry off and then I can, well, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be packing up wet, like the tent will be wet. And I, I still can't get over that sleeping bag keeping me dry. I'm still sitting on it to stay dry, which is nice. So I'm going to take this pan and uh, I've got my bacon and eggs in here, the ice melted it's in a ziploc bag but it kept everything cool in there and i got my thermocell running I, there's a couple mosquitoes it's not bad but figured i'd run that just to be safe and uh my camcorder uh, i forgot to take some footage off of it so it filled up last night so i'm just going to use my phone and the gopro hopefully you can see what i'm doing here so i'm gonna crack get cracking here I'll peel off this tin foil and uh, so this will also be my plate I'm gonna have to eat out of it and cook in it that's all biodegradable so that's good this I will pack away okay I'll get the stove burning Oh, this will be interesting. Might get a few popcorn kernels in my breakfast. Eggs. Not going to cook those just yet. Because I need that bacon fat to keep the eggs from sticking. Here's the bacon. Put these back in here. In case I drop something. And uh, look at that. Oh boy.
Popcorn and bacon. Wonder what that's gonna smell like. Let that simmer for a while. I'd say this is cooking up quite nicely. Makes a heck of a little frying pan. I've got this stove turned down as far as I can get it. As low as possible. I don't want to be burning this. Because this stove it can boil water in about five minutes so it gets pretty hot I've been moving it around as much as possible I think I'm ready to put an egg in here I think so well this will be interesting check that out Not too shabby. I think the fact I don't have a fork is gonna make it tough to eat. <laughs> but I'm gonna have my morning wake up here. Wake up cup. Oh, that's good. Hoping I can get the other egg in there too. I'm running out of space. While I'm at it, I got my spices here. So, we're gonna put Pepper. And a bit of garlic salt. There's probably some salt in there left over from the popcorn, so won't put too much. Probably end up doing a bit of a scrambled egg. Egg number two time. Good stuff. Spice that egg up with some pepper and salt. You know, just for the heck, I'm going to put some paprika in there. Yeah. Bought this last year in Dawson City, Yukon. There was none left in every store in Alberta that we tried. This might just turn out all right here. Well, this looks pretty much ready to eat. I don't have a fork. So. It's good bacon. I can't, I, maybe I can kind of taste the popcorn, but not really. Oh, that's good. Check that out. So there you have it folks, you can make bacon and eggs in a Jiffy Pot container, Jiffy Pot pen. I'm impressed. <laughs> that little stove works great. So now I'm going to figure out what part of this multi-tool I'm going to use <laughs> to eat that with. Pliers work for eating. So I've shut the stove off <clears throat> and now I'm going to eat. Bon appetit. Uh, and I've, I've hardly used this multi-tool. It's super clean. <laughs> That's good. <clears throat> That's really good.
I do not taste the popcorn and the eggs yet. This is really good, honestly. I can't believe it. I was worried that the pan would, you know, it's very thin. Well, it's kind of heavy duty tin foil, but I thought it would poke through or break through. Nope. It held, it held together really well. Ah, oh, so delicious. I can't believe it. <laughs> this was a huge success. Next time I'll bring a fork. Breakfast in a Jiffy Pop. <clears throat> I'm impressed. Okay, time to clean up. That was a great breakfast. I gotta figure out what to do with this so it doesn't get grease all over my backpack. I'll see what I can come up with. I have an idea. I'm gonna try stuffing it. Oh, it'll fit. Look at that. <clears throat> Beauty. Ziploc bag. Get the air out. Okay, I'm able to get all my garbage back in the container <clears throat> that I brought the bacon and eggs in. Don't leave home without your Leatherman. <laughs> Once again, I'm super impressed with this stove. I, I love the fact it has its own built-in igniter for starting the stove. That's great, don't have to bring a lighter. Although I'd bring one just in case because sometimes those fail. And always store them separate. You, you wouldn't want to Put, keep this together and put it in your backpack and have the valve open. That's not a good thing. And so I'm going to put the black cap back on this and put this back in its little box, which is kind of damp. Yeah, it's a little wet, but that's okay. I am dry. <laughs> I'm so shocked at this cheap sleeping bag I bought. I was just warm enough. Now it was rated for 10 degrees Celsius, 50 Fahrenheit. And last night it was supposed to get down to 15, which is warmer, uh, but it was windy, raining, and I, I'm sure it was colder than that. <clears throat> and it was just right. Uh, I had put my hoodie on when I woke up this morning and it was pouring so hard, I didn't want to get up. And uh, I wasn't sure <laughs> how long it was gonna take for this to clear. But uh, it stopped, thankfully, and it's looking not bad. So my son is going to pick me up in a while. I'm going to send him a text once I'm on the canoe and going on the creek. That'll give him enough time so he's not waiting for me to come and pick me up. Um, what else can I say? It's kind of dreary, but I know the minute I get out of this tent, my feet are going to be soaked. Um, so whatever, I can live with that. But my other concern is I got to hike down this steep hill and I'm worried I'm going to slip and fall a number of times. So I, it's going to be a, a slow descent. And I, I need to figure out what the elevation difference is because it's, it's pretty high up here. I've always been curious to that. So maybe I'll figure that out too. But time to pack up. I'm almost sad to pack up. I'm kind of enjoying this, but time to move on. This is why I bought this Walmart sleeping bag because it is so small and you can, it's surprisingly easy to pack. And uh, it's got this snap here. That's it, super small. So there, their 10 degree and 50 degree rating is pretty accurate, I would say. <clears throat> Any colder, and you'd probably want a liner in it or something, um, or just use a different bag. My other bag is too hot. It, it's 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 a good sleeping bag. I paid good money for it. Um, but uh, yeah, impressed. Everything is packed up in that bag. 
So right now my whole life is in here. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw it outside, it's gonna get damp. And then pack up the tent and hike down that big hill. And this little tent, despite it leaking a bit, which I can fix with uh, some spray that you can buy, that waterproofs your tent. So I can keep using this tent probably for a few more years anyways. Lugs. <laughs> so obviously packing up a tent wet, you gotta take it apart later in the day, at least within two days, I would think, and dry it out, or you will have mold. There it is, everything is in the backpack except my thermocell. And that is the spot where the tent was. And I gotta say, despite that storm last night, that was a great night. Here we go. See you later, alligator. Now I'm just wearing running shoes and in these first 50 steps <laughs> they are soaked which is no surprise but it's not as slippery as I thought. I gotta slow down though. This is kind of steep. You probably can't tell on the camera but this is quite steep. This is a quad trail, kind of. Okay, that wasn't bad. Boy, there's holes though. There must have been gophers in here throughout the years. So far so good, you just, I gotta take it slow. And I'm gonna stick to the quad trail. Okay, I got down the worst of it. Those hills were steep. But you just take it slow and you don't wipe out. And I can confirm, it's much easier going down than up. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think this tree was across the trail. Yesterday, maybe last night it fell. Yep, that looks pretty fresh to me. Yeah, it broke off right there. <clears throat> well, hopefully before snowmobile season, Somebody removes that so I can get through there. I'm going to keep a little quieter because I'm hoping to see some deer or something. And this morning the water was running down this trail like a stream. The grass is laid right down back there. I kind of missed that shot, but that's how hard it rained last night. It was crazy. Let's put my hood up. Mosquitoes are bugging the back of my neck. For some reason, they're not bothering my face. The canoe is up ahead. Got to go through another clearing here. 
then you'll we'll see it. You can start to see the water. There it is. Nobody touched it. <laughs> Not out here, that's for sure. Okay, now to flip that over and get set up. I got the thermocell going again because the mosquitoes are pretty wicked here. Okay, gonna put the backpack in and shove off. Hopefully this goes relatively seamless. That was all right. Let's keep my bug machine handy. Make sure it's still lit. Yep. Glorious. Not a soul around. Slight breeze to keep the bugs away, I think. Who would have thought you could make breakfast in a Jiffy Pop frying pan? That's pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I just texted my son. He's going to pick me up shortly at our agreed meeting spot that our whole family's familiar with. It's a great, great place we got here. We don't own it, but um, the water is free to use, so. <sighs> Holy. <laughs> Quickly as that rain came, it pretty much disappeared. <laughs> oh, this duckweed really slows you down. Not too bad. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. You never know what you're going to get in Parkland Film, so stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. In the meantime, be safe on the water and enjoy.
enjoy the outdoors. Thank you.